evening, Arizona. My name is Vicki Smith, and I'm reporting for FX TV. Tonight's exclusive, the man behind the eye patch, the real Davy Jones. Thank you so much, Mr. Jones, for taking the time to meet here. No, it's truly my pleasure to be here. Thank you. So, Mr. Jones, let's... Please, call me Dave. All my friends call me Dave. All right, Dave. What does it feel like to carry the legendary name of Davy Jones? You're not allowed to call me Dave anymore. Um, oh, okay. The name Davy Jones has caused me more grief than you could possibly imagine. Everyone thinks Davy Jones. They think Squid Face Man chasing Johnny Depp around. That's not what I'm about. So you don't feel you're appropriately portrayed in the Pirates of the Caribbean film? One of the writers, I had a quarrel with him in high school, something about girlfriends, and next thing you know, Davy Jones is Squid Face. So you're displeased with this image to your good name? The name Davy Jones. People think of all of this pirating stuff. Did, did you know I've written a book? I didn't think so. Well, I have. It's a book on poetry, of birds and flowers and other pretty things. But you know that, did you? Can I get a Diet Coke over here? Thank you. Davy Jones's locker. The term that my name is highly affiliated with. You know what Davy Jones's locker was? It was what they shoved me into when I was a young lad in high school. What other confrontations have you encountered? It was just really rough Davy times. Jones. Jones. This is a Diet Pepsi! I just scared you gotta get the fight, you son of a bitch! Of course, it was hard to get a job. People hear the name Davy Jones and all those stories my father made up sprung into their mind, flashing before their eyes. They started asking me weird questions that were completely unrelated to the job. Well knowing that I had two hands, they would ask me how fast I could type with the hook. Relationships, that... that was something else. I mean... They think that you've killed as many people as... Well, you really haven't, but they say you've killed. It's kind of hard to get a date. Even friends. Friends are hard to come by. I mean, yeah, I had shipmates, but they more so act out of fear rather than loyalty. Frustrating when it came time to save my life in a few situations. You know, my foot tied up at the anchor and went on right overboard, you know? That was scary. What support was there from your parents? Well, you see, my father was in a long line of pirating and he wanted me to be a pirate. I, I actually, to be honest, wanted, wanted to be a vet. But um, he, he didn't quite agree with that and I was thinking of becoming a vet. I used to play with toys and, you know, a little stethoscope listening to their heartbeats and it would slap them out of my hand and throw me a pirate sword. Early sword fighting, stuff like that, you know, how to tie ropes want to be a pirate and there was so much pressure and yelling at the house so you know I, I used to cry a lot but I have this unique condition called a uniteering it causes me to only cry out of one eye and father didn't like that so much so he put this on my eye patch it's just really hard with all these expectations that I've always had to live up to my entire life I, I had my own hopes my own dreams I wanted to be in the theater actually auditioning for cats the Broadway musical Hopefully uh, something comes out of that. When I didn't get into pirating as early as he wanted me to, he started making up stories. So I'd go to school and some of the children there would ask me, Did you chase this week, huh? Did you find any treasure? Can I have some? Didn't go any treasure? I went to my friend Jeffrey's house. What other stories did your father make up? The Kraken was nothing but Mountain Dew and sea monkeys. And my vessel, the Flying Dutchman, was a Volvo, a 96 Volvo. Of course I've never wrestled a shark! That's humanly impossible! Okay, uh, what about your mother? My mother was an angel. She was always looking out for me, trying to calm down me pa. Didn't always work, but she was always there for me. She was the one who actually inspired me to do, to do other things, to expand my mind. She was the one who always told me I didn't have to live in my father's shadow. Well, I think we'll take a quick commercial break. Stay tuned for more shocking revelations. This isn't even a real beard. Follow it. Let me follow this. Ah! Ah! 